Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish, and I'm here to review the play of the day, which was Qcom. And actually, this is the only gap today, the only golden gap that rated per my system to even do. I originally wasn't even going to rate this. And then someone mentioned it in the room, I thought, all right, fine, I'll rate it. And it ended up rating 20 points. So it was good. So what did it do? Let's go over it. I got out of this, I think, a little bit too early, but... Um, had the move. Stock open dropped. Boom. Got in. Broke out. It ended up going. I didn't even see. Where was the low of the day to this? Yeah, I mean, I could have held on to this longer. Actually, it never even got anywhere near my entry. <laughs> but I like to trade the morning and be out in the first 30 minutes. But look where this went. 53.80. That's crazy. That's insane. Wow. Wow, it really dropped. More than $3. And guess what? It opened and swooshed. So I rated the gap in the morning. It rated 20 points or more. It rated 20, but the system is 20 or more to do it with the, per the 26-point rating system. Then I watched it. It opened and swooshed, and we did it. So very easy to do when it just gives it to you. When it throws it in your lap, you take it. And it absolutely did. Second swoosh of the year here. I think I think it's been has it been two or three? I think it's been two. Two swooshes. Two swooshes in two weeks we've seen. And an early start to the year, and earnings season seems to be going good, and it will be a busy week this week. Now's the time to trade. Got to make the money when there's lots of gaps to look at. There isn't always something to look at on a Monday. Mondays are typically the slowest days of the week, but today this did it. And, in fact, this was not an earnings gap. Uh, this was a news-generated gap that happened in QCOM. And it really, really sold off on Friday. Then it gapped down a lot today, and then it really sold off hard today. So look at that. It was wild this morning, but it actually set up perfectly, perfectly textbook, as Susanna said in the room. So we'll see what happens with this in the next couple days. We'll watch it. Uh, but, you know, this looks like it's done pretty much for the day, 1 o'clock. And again, I like to trade the morning and be out. This may set up a second time this afternoon, but I wouldn't do it again. It's had a huge, massive move. Market is very bullish. And again, I think the best thing for day traders to do is make money and just get out. It doesn't matter where you get out. Whether you get $1, $2, $3, or they get the whole move, not everyone will ever get out of the low of the day and everything. Every once in a while, I have a, you know, an amazing exit in something. Uh, I could have held this a little bit longer today. It really didn't matter. I think the key to trading is to make money consistently and get the right pick and the right entry where you go right into the money and the trades, and I'm extremely good at that. So if you'd like to learn more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. This is the play of the day in the Stock Swish Show Live Trading Room, QCOM. Webinar tonight at 4.30. Information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for the upcoming class. It's this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, January 28th and 29th from 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Thanks, everyone, and have a great week.